so far we have installed all the things that we need on our local machine so i think it's time to get started on actual implementation so in this episode we are going to set up a simple node.js project so that we can get started with all the implementation in the following episodes so let's get started okay first we need uh, we need to create a folder on our desktop it doesn't matter whether you are on mac or windows so let's create a folder you can name anything i'm going to name this as uh, node rest javascript since we are actually building the whole thing with javascript so let's open vs code and import this project so once you import this project or open this folder so you can actually open a terminal here and let's switch to bash uh, since for every node.js project we need we will have a package.json so package.json is very important let's check the node.js version which um, our version is 20 so you can actually create package.json with npm init so when you hit npm init in the terminal it will ask you a bunch of questions so let's go over all these questions the first thing is package name so you can you can name any name so i'm going to name this as a folder name node node rest javascript and the version so it the, here it's a major minor patch version so since since we are still in development phase i'm going to put it as 001 you can put any description here this is a this is just a description for our project so i'm going to put as example project for node rest api and entry point is index.js you can name any file and you can you can you can just put them in the same file index.js here as an entry point we don't we're not going to have any text command no git repository yet keywords so since it's a node rest api you can put keywords node rest api so that people will understand or search by keywords author your name and the license default license once you create it actually creates package.json if you look at if you look at the explorer window you can actually see package.json it's already created let's click on the package.json you can actually see all the all the options all the answers that you have given it it took all the answers and it actually created the package.json for you now I think we have a index.js as main file. Let's create index.js. Index.js is created. Let's go ahead and put some some print statement with console log. So now we have index.js with some code in it. So, so let's let's see how to run this one. Uh, basically, with npm scripts, you can actually start npm start. So since since there is no script defined for start, it actually gives you the error. So basically, you have to um, you have to invoke node index.js so that that index.js will be run. You can add this. Um, as a script under script section so let's add this you can name this script anything but since we are running or we are starting the application uh, we are going to name this as a start so let's put the command node index.js so that whenever you run npm start it actually runs the command node index.js which internally runs executes the file index.js 
yes, if you run npm start, it actually executes node index.js and it actually executes index.js file and it, it, it actually prints the statement called, this is index.file. So that is, that is how you actually add scripts in the package.json and now let's add a function called add. So this function will take two parameters and which it will return addition of those two parameters. Let's add another console log statement. So when I start, when I run the start command, it actually executes this function, it actually prints 20, as you can see here. That's it. I think we have, we have created, we have set up the first Node.js project and we have created package.json. We have created our own scripts. So, so this is very simple one, but we will go over, um, more complex things in the coming episodes. So thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and you will see more complex things in the coming episodes.